everyone, I am Kripa Ahuja, Faculty of Business Studies at Isamin International School, Jagatpura, Jaipur. In this subject video, you will understand the nature and significance of management, which forms a part of NCRT, Grade 12. Now, firstly, let us understand the concept of management. Management is defined as the process of planning, organizing, and controlling and organization's operations in order to achieve the target effectively and efficiently. It is essential for all organizations. After understanding the meaning or concept, let us start with the characteristics of management. Firstly, management is a goal-oriented process. It is a goal-oriented process which is to achieve already specified and desired objectives by proper utilization of available resources. Organization's existence is based on objectives and management is the process which unites the efforts of every individual to achieve that goal. Second, it is all pervasive. When we talk about all pervasive, it means that it is going to be in all types of organizations, be it big, small, profit or non-profit making. Management is common to all organizations, whether economic, social or political. For example, management is applicable for a government company, school, private company or an NGO. Third is management is multidimensional. It has three main dimensions, management of work, management of people and management of operations. It consists of a series of functions and its functions are being performed by all the managers simultaneously. Next that we have is management is a continuous process. It is a series of continuous composite and separate functions which are performed by managers all the time. Next that we have is management is a group activity. All the individuals in the organizations contribute towards achieving the goals which are set by the organization. It is a group activity since it involves managing and coordinating activities of different people as a team to attain the desired objectives by the organization. Last but not the least, we have management is an intangible force. It is an intangible force as it cannot be seen, but its effect can be feel, felt in the form of results like whether the objectives are met and whether people are motivated or not. And there is orderliness and coordination in the work environment. The next topic that we will proceed with is levels of management. Management is basically divided into three levels, top management, middle management, operational or low management. Top management, it consists of senior most executives who are usually referred to as the chairman, chief executive officer, president and vice president. The main task is to integrate and to coordinate the various activities of the business, framing policies, formulating organizational goals and strategies. The next type of level. The next level of management is middle management. They are usually division heads who are the link between top and lower level of management. It consists of departmental heads, plant superintendents and operational managers. The main task is to interpret the policies of the top management and to ensure the availability of resources to implement policies, to coordinate all activities, to ensure availability of necessary personnel and assign duties and responsibilities to them. 
The last level of management that we have is operational management. It consists of foremen and supervisors, etc. Main task is to ensure actual implementation of the policies as per directions, bring workers' grievances before the management, and maintain discipline among the workers. The next topic that we have is objectives of management. There are basically three types of objectives of management. First is organizational, second is social, third is personal. Let us start with the organizational objective first. Organizational objectives can be divided into survival, profit and growth. Survival, management by taking positive decisions with regard to different business activities ensure survival of business for long term. Profit, it plays an important role in facing business risk and successful running of business activities. Growth, management must ensure growth which can be measured by increase in sales, number of employees, number of products, additional investment, etc. Next objective that we have is social objectives. Social objectives is to provide some benefits to the society like applying environment friendly practices in the production process and giving employment to disadvantaged sections of the society, for example, Disco, ITC and Asian Paints. Last but not the least, we have personal objectives. Personal objectives is to focus on diverse personal objectives of people who are working in the organization which need to be reconciled with the organizational objectives. I hope this was clear to you. The last topic that we have for today is importance of management. The first importance that we have is achieving group goals. Management creates teamwork and coordination in the group. Managers give common direction to individual efforts in achieving the overall goals of the organizations. Second objective that we have is increases efficiency. Management increases efficiency by using resources in the best possible way to reduce cost and increase the productivity. The third that we have is creates dynamic organization. Management helps the employees overcome their resistance to change and adapt as per changing situation to ensure its survival and growth. The fourth objective that we have is achieving personal objectives. Management helps the individuals achieve their personal objectives while working towards organizational objectives. Last but not the least, we have development of society. Management helps in the development of society by producing good quality products, creating employment opportunities and adapting new technologies. I hope these topics were clear to you. Thank you for your patient watching and listening. Stay healthy, stay safe. If you found this video useful, kindly like, share and subscribe our channel.